Afora review and tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Afora. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to afori.com. And if you haven't signed up for Afora yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Aphorai, it is an AI platform that provides an AI chatbot to search, summarize, and translate information from multiple sources to produce trustworthy research, in which it is a powerful custom generative AI that helps with writing tasks and understanding large volumes of text and also, this platform offers a features such as language flexibility, robust data management, and the ability to analyze dense texts like undergrad and postgrad textbooks. And now, to access this platform, you could also click the pricing option on the top panel to see some of the plan that they offer. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, in which below here, you can choose either pay as you go, light, plus and pro plan and below you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included but if you want to purchase a plan for one-time payment only you could also go to appsumo.com and on the search bar of it kindly enter afori and below here it will show you the plan that they offer which is a lifetime deal and as you can see here it is only 49 dollars since they have offer a 79 percent discount and you will also see here on the left side panel the overview about this platform and the list of feature and benefits it included. And now going back to this page right here, to try this platform for free, kindly click this button on the top right corner. And after that, all you need to do is to sign in from here by entering all of the required information or you can continue using your Google account. And after signing up, you will be directed on this page. And this is what the dashboard looks like of Afori. And as you can see, we have here a pop-up window that shows us some of the things that we need to consider and to understand in using this platform. And aside from that, it also shows us some of the parts or option of this platform that we can navigate and start utilizing. Now, by closing this pop-up window, you will see here some of the options that you can navigate is starting on the top panel. We have here my first chatbot, upload files option, while on the left side panel we have here dashboard, files, chatbots, prompts, and many more. And now the first thing that we need to do is to simply upload the files by clicking on the files option on the left side panel and from here just click upload your first file button below. And after that from here you can choose to upload files, URL, or even to enter a text manually. But for instance, I'm going to upload the files, and to do that, I'm just going to download a file in PDF format, which is about drug addiction. And as you can see, the title of it is Molecular Mechanism of Drug Addiction, in which this document will serve as our source data or source of information that we're going to upload in here, in which the chatbot AI will use the specific file that we chose as the source of information of what we're asking. And now to proceed, kindly click Upload Files button below here. And as you can see, all you need to do is to wait for it to load since it is currently now loading. And while we're waiting for it to load, we could also search other kind of sources data or file in this internet. And I'm going to choose this article right here. And by simply copying the URL of it, you could upload this file by clicking this button Upload Files on the top panel. And under the URL section, just enter here or paste the URL and proceed by clicking the button below. And upon clicking on it, as you can see, it will be now added under the files of our sources data. And all you need to do is to wait for it to load. And aside from files, you could also navigate the chatbots on the website panel, in which from here you can choose the chatbots that you prefer and you can even create a new one. And as you can see, we only have one available chatbot. And you could even select a files to connect to these chatbots, which is also the file that we just uploaded. And from here, if you want to create a chatbot, just click the button on the top right corner. 
and upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window in which it says here that you must have an upgrade account in order to create a new chatbot. And now, going back to these files, from here you could also connect the chatbots by clicking this one and select the chatbots. And upon checking on the boxes, it will automatically be connected to the specific chatbot that you choose, in which the template of it will look like this under this dashboard, which is also like a chat GPT, but the only difference is that you're the one that's going to provide the sources of data or information, and the chatbot will only use the data that you provided or uploaded to answer your queries or question. And some of the given question that you can ask is under these prompts on the left side panel, in which below here it will show you a list of commands that you can just simply click so that you don't need to enter any kind of question as the prompts are now given. Such as this prompt give me a summary of document and any other kind of prompts or command below. And now to try how it works, just go to the chatbot section on the left side panel in which from here it will show you your chatbot and on the right side just click this icon right here. And after that from here it will show you the document that you just upload and selected. And on the top panel of it you could also choose your chatbot if you're using an upgrade plan. And by clicking this document right here you will be able to choose what kind of document you want to choose as your source of information. And now, after selecting your file and also choosing your chat bots, below here you can now start entering your question or using a prompt by simply clicking this icon right here. And let's say I'm going to choose summary. And upon clicking on it, it will now show you the command. And on the document text, all you need to do is to enter the title of your document. And just click send or enter. And after that, all you need to do is to wait for it to load and it will show you the summary about the article or the document that you just uploaded. And as you can see below here, it also includes the data citation, which is also very helpful to avoid plagiarism. And aside from a summary, you could also ask a different kind of question by entering the prompt icon. You can command to proofreader, create a code, quick email, and many more. Or alternatively, you can simply ask a random question of your preferences, but make sure that the question that you are formulating are also connected or the answer can be found on the article or file that you just upload. And upon clicking enter, it will show you the answer that is provided by chatbot and also based on the article or file that you just upload. And if you also want to change a file type as a source of information, you can do so by simply clicking this one and select the other documents that you want to serve as the sources of your data. And aside from that, you could also see here the powerful mode that is turned on, or you could also turn this off to enable AI to search on Google for answer. And aside from that, by clicking the settings icon right here, you will be able to customize the number of search result, the time range, search language, and any other details. And aside from that, on the top right corner, you could also click this icon to connect files, while the other icon is to download the whole conversation, and also the other icon is to get the tour of this dashboard. So that is just how you can use A4i. Thank you.